Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. All right, welcome. Welcome back to Intermediate Class 17. As always, we're going to start with a review of Class 16. Well, a review of the previous class. In this case, it is Class 16. A day ago, we discussed this grammar. Yes, 24 hours ago, we discussed it. I talked about it on the radio just 24 hours ago. A day ago. Hace un mes que fui a Nueva York. A month ago, I went to New York. A day ago, I talked to this. I talked about this content. I discussed this point. Hace un día, hablé de, es, de, de ese tema. Okay, so we were doing this in a little bit of translation, practicing this structure. So let's give this a try. A few, uh, a week ago, for example, a week ago I sold my car. Two years ago I visited China. It's true. Okay, a little bit of translation now. Hace tres días que fui al parque. Three days ago I went to the park. Hace dos semanas que corrí. Con ellos. Two weeks ago, I ran with them. Hace dos años que vendí la empresa. Two years ago, I sold the company. Very good. Hace una semana que corrí doce kilómetros. A week ago, I ran twelve kilometers. Hace una semana que compré... Unos guantes. A week ago, I bought gloves. Gloves. We could say uh, a pair of gloves. Gloves come in pairs. There's like socks. A pair of socks and a pair of gloves. Hace un par de días que decía la respuesta. A few days ago, I said the answer. Hace tres días que escribí la carta. Three days ago, I wrote the letter. I wrote the letter. Very good. Hace una hora que decía eso. An hour ago, I said that. An hour ago, I said that. Very good. Very good. Hace un mes que vendí mi casa. A month ago, I sold my house. I sold my house. Good. In the last class, we also talked about... about Comparatives. Comparatives. And I ask you some questions. Uh, yesterday, in fact, I said, are you taller than Michael Jordan? No, I'm not taller than Michael Jordan. I expect not because he's quite tall. When, when people talk about uh, height in, uh, in North America, the, I say North America because Canada as well, the United States and in Canada, we measure height for people in feet, feet and inches. The, so, so pies y pulgadas, I think you say. Pulgadas? In, uh, well, inches, we say. So, feet and inches. Yes, so yes, there are 12 inches in a foot. And we measure people by feet and inches. So we say, he is six feet and six inches. But when we but we actually would say he's six foot six. We don't say six feet six, we say six foot six. And in fact, Michael Jordan is six foot six. He's very tall. I don't know what that is in centimeters, but it's very tall. I am six foot one, which means I'm six feet tall plus one inch. I'm six foot one. So that would mean let's see, I'm seventy three inches tall. And in fact, I don't even know my height in the metric system because I think in this system of feet and inches. Anyway, I'm not taller than Michael Jordan. He is five inches taller than I am. Are you faster than Alonso? No, I'm not faster than Alonso. Is Alonso faster than you? Yes, Alonso is faster than me. I am a fast runner, though. Ask me if I'm faster than my brother. Are you faster than your brother? Yes, I'm faster than my brother. 
Are you younger than Harrison Ford? It depends on the listener. Are you younger at home? Are you younger than Harrison Ford? Ask me if I'm younger than Harrison Ford. Kyle, are you younger than Harrison Ford? Yes. I'm younger than Harrison Ford. Yes. Is a Porsche faster than a Ford? A Ford. Is a Porsche faster than a Ford? Yes, a Porsche is faster than a Ford. Is a Ford slower than a Porsche? Yes, a Ford is slower than a Porsche. A typical Ford and a typical Porsche, sure. Is Madrid bigger than Toledo? Yes, Madrid is bigger than Toledo. Is Toledo smaller than Madrid? Yes, Toledo is smaller than Madrid. Good. Is Madrid cleaner than London? I don't know. What do you think? Do you think Madrid is cleaner than London? I don't know. Or is London cleaner than Madrid? I'm not sure. Is Madrid colder than Toronto? No, Madrid is not colder than Toronto. Is it hotter than Helsinki? Yes, Madrid is hotter than Helsinki. Absolutely, it's hotter than Helsinki. Am I as tall as my brother? How, how tall am I? I'm six foot one. Remember, I told you, six foot one. This means I'm six feet and one inch. I'm six foot one. Um, no, I'm not taller than my brother. I am shorter than my brother. My brother is a little bit taller than I am. Word of the day. Word of the day. That's right. It's time now for the word of the day. Today, punta y coma. Punta y coma. How do you say that? Well, semicolon. Semicolon, which is good to know if you if you um, work with computers and you have to use it for for uh, punctuation of naming files or, or writing computer code, for example. A semicolon. Punta y coma. So it's a semicolon because it's it's almost like it's trying to be a colon, but it's not quite. Dos puntos, right? Colon, colon. It's it's almost like a colon, but no, it's not quite because it has the dot in the 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 dot above, and then below it has the comma, comma. So you say punta, punta y coma, like point and comma, which I suppose makes sense. And you say dos puntos, two points, point and comma. It's more logical, but in English we say colon, colon, c o l o n, and semicolon. In fact, it was the colon was invented by Colon, and and in fact, he he invented it. So we decided to name a plaza in Madrid after him, and several famous monuments. No, I'm joking. I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> but it's spelled the same. Of course, there's no accent on the O, but with C O L O N, colon, colon. Very good. All right, colon. And here we have punta, punta y coma. Semicolon, semi, semi, like partial, semicolon. All right, I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm going to tell you a secret. Are you ready? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something interesting. I'm going to tell you something about the verb to tell. I'm going to say something, but I'm going to tell it to you. I'm not going to tell it to everyone. I'm going to tell it to you. Okay? So the verb to tell almost always follows this structure, to tell someone something. I told my brother the news. Decirle a alguien algo. I told my brother the news. I told my mother what happened. Okay? But there are other specific cases when we use this structure a little bit differently, like we say, to tell a lie. Contar una mentira. To tell a lie. Yes. To te- Do you tell lies? No. Uh, ask me if I tell lies. Do I? No, I don't tell lies. I try not to. I try not to tell lies. I'm not a liar. I don't lie. At least I try not to tell lies. So the opposite of that is to tell the truth. Contar la verdad. To tell the truth. To tell the truth. The truth is always true. I was telling one of my students, there's nothing more true than the truth. 
So truth is a noun. True is the adjective. And that's a true story. That is a true fact. That there's nothing more true than the truth. But remember, we tell the truth. Okay. To tell a story. Contar una historia. To tell a story. Contar un chiste. To tell a joke. To tell a joke. Maybe I should tell more jokes on the radio. Would you like me to tell a joke? All right. I'll tell, I'll tell a joke. Uh, so I went to a, a wedding between two antennas. Antennas. I went to a wedding between two antennas. In fact, the, the wedding, the wedding itself was terrible, but the reception was fantastic. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, now we also say to tell time. To tell time. Do you, do you know how to tell time? Saber decir la hora de un reloj. To tell time. I had to... I, I think I was probably about five when I learned, well, I don't, I don't know, I don't remember, maybe four years old when I learned to tell time from a, a standard watch with hands. To tell the future, decir el futuro. You go to those fortune tellers and they'll try to tell the future. To tell your fortune. I mean, and I, I don't believe in those people. I don't believe in those fortune tellers. But I believe that you can answer my questions. Uh, did I tell you a secret yesterday? Did I? Answer my question out loud. Did I tell you a secret? So remember, tell, told, told. Did I tell you a secret yesterday? Yes, Kyle. You told me a secret yesterday. Oh. Did you tell me anything important? Yes, you told me something important. Did you tell me many things yesterday? Yes, I told you many things yesterday. Did you do you tell me my, do you tell me interesting things every day? Yes, I tell you interesting things every day. I tell my roommates. I have roommates, compañeros de piso. It's not a compañera de habitación. It doesn't it doesn't mean that they live in my room. They stay in the same room as me. But we say we say roommates in North American English. Roommate is someone who shares an apartment, or as the British would say, a flat. So they would say a flatmate. The British would say a flatmate. North Americans would say roommates. I tell my roommates things every day. I tell them about my work. I tell them about what's happening. Did you tell the doctor about your problem? Give me an answer. Yes, Kyle, I told the doctor about my problem. I told him about my problem. Did he tell his mother something important? Yes, he told his mother something important. Did she tell you the news? Ooh, there's big news. Did she tell you the news? Yes, she told me the news. Did we tell them the news? Yes, we told them the news. Did they tell us the news? Yes, they told us the news. Did I tell him the news? Yes, you told him the news. Did you tell him everything? Did you tell him all the details? Did you tell? Did you tell him? Did he tell you? Did we tell them? Did they tell us? Did I tell you? Did he tell her? Did they tell him? Did he tell her? Whew, what else? Did we tell them? Right, it's always the same. To tell someone something. Did we tell them the story? Did we tell them the news? Did we tell them the answer? Did we tell them the truth? Did we tell them everything? Did we tell them everything or only a few things? Did he tell you everything? Yes. Yes. He told me everything. Vocabulary of the day. Well, that's right, folks. It's time for the vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary of the day today... The first word is punto de encuentro, meeting place, meeting place, that's right, hormiga, hormiga, ant, ant, A-N-T. Now we also, we, we have the word in English, tía, which is ant, mi tía, ant, or can be pronounced aunt, but you could say ant if you like, just like hormiga, ant, siglo. Siglo. Century. Century. Very good. Century. Por cierto, a propósito, by the way. By the way. 
By the way, did I tell you? Did I tell you what we're going to be talking about next? By the way, por cierto. Did I tell you about this? It's very important. Did I tell you? Dedicado a. Dedicado a. Devoted to. Devoted to. Are you devoted to learning English? It's very important to be devoted to it. You have to dedicate a lot of time. You have to be devoted. You have to devote a great deal of time and effort. You have to make the decision that you want to learn the language and you're willing to make the sacrifice necessary to learn and to improve. You have to make that decision and you have to devote your time and your effort to learning. It doesn't come easy, ladies and gentlemen. It does not. You're going to have to make an effort and you're going to have to devote. You will have to be devoted to learning English. But if you are devoted to it, well, you've come to the right place. You have the right tools available to you, okay? We're here to help you. All right, now we have the structure to be better at something than someone. And the example, I like the example in the student guide, are you better at golf than your neighbor? I don't know. This is funny because I, I have recently started playing golf, and one person that I know that does play golf also is my neighbor across the hall. And I keep seeing him in the hall, and I say, hey, we have to go play golf sometime. And he says, yeah, yeah, we'll go. We'll go go to the driving range and practice hitting some balls. And I, I don't know if I'm better than him or not. I've been improving, but I don't know if I'm better than my neighbor or not. Ask me if, if I'm better at golf than my brother. Kyle, are you better at golf than your brother? Probably. I'm probably better at golf than my brother, but uh, I don't know. I haven't played golf with him for about five years, so I really don't know. But I've been practicing, and he hasn't been practicing, so we'll see. Are you better? Are you better at swimming than your friends? Are you better at swimming? Are you a better swimmer than your friends? Are you better at swimming than your friends? Are you better at playing the guitar than your friends? I'm definitely not better at playing the guitar than my friends. I can't play the guitar at all. But what's important is, is to practice this idea of to be better at doing something, to be good at it. He's very good at playing the guitar. I am very bad at playing the guitar. He's better at playing the guitar than I am. Maybe I'm better at playing the drums than he am. I than than he is. Excuse me. Um, I've been practicing playing the drums, and I'm getting better. I'm getting better at playing the drums, but I'm still not as good at playing the drums as uh, well as most people who have practiced for a long time. But I'm getting better. I'm improving. One thing I'm not good at. I am not good at. Get finishing everything before the end of the show because I've noticed it's work well we're completely out of time ladies and gentlemen so I'm going to have to finish we are finished now but thank you so much for joining me intermediate students please stick around stay tuned for the advanced portion of the class it will help you you will benefit but we're going to go to a commercial break thanks for listening see you soon bye bye